friends through this solar panel how we can charge a battery and through this battery how to glow a bulb i am going to tell you this whole process in this process i will explain you whole connection and which device is used and why it is used i am going to explain you everything in detail this solar panel here power supply from this solar panel cannot be connected directly with the battery we can't do this because this solar panel here through this solar panel we get dc power supply in output and voltage of this dc power supply always varies to charge this battery if we provide high voltage then in this condition our battery may get damaged to charge this battery in a proper way we use solar charge controller to this controller we can directly provide power supply through solar panel if we want to but if you want the whole connection in a proper way then in between you can use a protection device like this mcb here if you connect this mcb then you will get protection from overload and short circuit besides you must use surge protection device also benefit of using this surge protection device is if there is any voltage surge in output power supply i mean if suddenly there is increase in voltage then in this condition this device will ground the voltage so that all the devices in your home get protected for now i am doing connection of these friends in your solar panel at the back side you will find two terminals on which you have to connect positive and negative wire so i connected these wires and by connecting wires here i provided input power supply to mcb now for connection of this spd what you have to do this negative power supply here with this supply loop a wire and here negative symbol is there so with this terminal connect this wire take positive power supply and connect with positive terminal after this you can see here is earthing terminal so whatever earthing you have in your home connect earthing with this terminal in this way so connection of spd is completed now what we have to do this mcb here with output terminal of this mcb first of all with output terminal connect one wire and to the solar charge controller at one number terminal here you can see a solar panel symbol is there this side plus and this side minus symbol is there so where plus symbol is there connect this wire with that terminal now from second terminal of this mcb connect one wire and to this charge controller provide negative power supply so we did the connection of solar panel with charge controller now if you want that through this solar panel directly you can glow any bulb then for this what you will do is this charge controller you have in this you will find dc power supply here these two terminals are for dc power supply among these two first terminal is for positive power supply so from this point connect a wire and to this bulb here provide positive power supply to this bulb from second terminal you will get negative power supply so take this supply and connect with bulb If you do the connection in this way then your bulb will work through power supply from solar panel I mean till the time this solar panel is producing power supply only till this time this lamp you have will glow the moment at which solar panel stop producing electricity your lamp will turn off automatically now suppose this lamp you have if you want this lamp to glow even when the solar panel is not producing electricity then in this condition you need to use a battery for connection of this battery what you will do here you can see two terminals among these two first terminal is for positive power supply so from this terminal connect one wire and with positive terminal of battery connect this wire now from second terminal connect a wire and with negative terminal of battery connect this wire so connection of battery is also done now through this solar panel the electricity which is produced that will be used to charge the battery and along with this to glow this lamp power supply of solar panel will be used now suppose this solar panel you have through this electricity production is stopped then in this condition this lamp you have this lamp will glow through the power supply of battery friends in this connection you can see this lamp i used this lamp will operate on dc power supply normally in our home bulb which we use operates on ac power supply we don't use dc bulb If you want to make direct connections then by using DC bulb you can do direct connection but if you want to glow AC lamp then you have to use inverter I used a simple inverter here we also call this inverter as power inverter at the back side of this inverter you will find two cables 
which is going to be connected with this battery. So what I will do from here connect the wires with this. I am showing you from here but you can do connection from charge controller or with the terminal of battery you can do the connection. Now in this inverter you can see a socket is provided. Through this socket you will get AC power supply. So for connection from here to the bulb you need to use a plug top. So with this plug top connect the cable inside which two wires are present. One wire will be used for phase supply and another wire will be used for neutral supply. So I provided phase supply and neutral supply to this bulb. So I connected this bulb with this plug top and now if I connect this plug top with this inverter and this switch here, if I turn on this switch then in this condition this bulb here will start glowing. Friends this connection I shown here, in this connection I used only single bulb. If you want in place of single lamp you can provide power supply to all the lights in your home. What you have to do simply is take this plug top with this power supply and the MCB of your home, I mean the MCB for lights, connect this with the MCB. Benefit of connecting this wire with MCB is, wherever the power supply is going through MCB, in all those places power is supplied through inverter. Friends if you want to know how many types of protection devices are used in our home, then click on the right hand side video. Thanks for watching this video.